Let's see if we can manage to break the game. Max level luck and max level attack speed. And of course we're starting out firing 4 bullets at a time and we're already shooting super quick. Also we're going to make our blast radius bigger and bigger and bigger again. 60% blast radius. And of course to start out we're going to fire 4 projectiles at a time. I already like a lot of what we're getting. Increase the damage of all AoE by 15%. The salvage energy is fun too. Let's try and make giant AoE explosions. I want things to take up the whole screen and really, really hurt. I'm also going to get experience gained whenever I can though too, especially this early on. 5% extra experience for the next 4 hours is going to be a lot. And that just means more upgrades so we can hurt these guys even worse. So we're going to keep going with that even over these. 12.5% uh, extra experience total. Attacks have a 5% chance to conjure a meteoroid dealing 14 damage. So I feel like that should be pretty big and pretty strong already. So it's going to drop and if we can make that even bigger, it's going to be an absolute world destroyer. Attacks have a 15% chance to conjure one homing goo. That's actually a really good one, especially when it upgrades, because we're going to get giant, very damaging goos. The hardest part right now is just having enough enemies to kill. I kind of wish I turned on double idiots. Okay, we're going to gain 22.5% more experience. I'm going to walk into the enemies, but I don't care because I'm a madman like that. Attacks have a 10% chance to conjure a meteorite, dealing uh, about 30 damage. That turned into a gold upgrade too. And actually if we can just keep stacking that we might just be able to meteor the whole world to death. Which might actually be a thing. Attacks have a 15% chance to conjure meteor <laughs> dealing 41 damage already. We might actually be able to get that close to 100% the chance of happening. I'm going to increase my attack speed by 10%. AOE radius is also good but the faster we attack the more meteorites we're going to spawn. Got a lot of good things going here. Increase the damage of all AOE by another 15%. So that means our meteoroids and our goo balls. It just keeps giving us more and more of these. Increase the damage of all AOE by 45%. This would be a good test because we got a boss spawning in, so we're definitely going to drop some meteors on him. Even to the point where I'm just walking through damage to do it. Yeah, there we go, have some meteors. Yeah, that works good. And then we're going to get 2 times Sonic Howl, which is also an AoE. Every 3 quarters of a second, we're going to deal 3 damage to surrounding enemies. That's what that pink blur is. And eventually that's going to be huge and also shield us from idiots. The Soul of a Mom is also AoE. Attacks have a 3% chance to conjure the Soul of a Mom. He's going to deal an explosion dealing a 17 damage. He's that little uh, pink or red spirit you see flying around right there. None of these are AoE, but my initial attacks are going to have a 25% chance to chain up to one enemy. I don't know if the extra hits can spawn meteors and stuff, but I hope they can. Whatever the case, that put a lot more damage out there because we're firing four bullets at a time. Next upgrade, Sonic Howl. These will uh, eventually upgrade anyway. Release a medium Sonic Howl every two thirds of a second, dealing four damage. None of these are AoE, but I will take Hailstorm because I do happen to enjoy that, especially if it gets leveled up. Oh, our uh, Howl thing is actually turned up to pink already. Re releases a medium ultrasonic wave every half a second dealing 5.2 damage to surrounding enemies and that thing's getting big. We just need to start turning the AOE radius up. We got the damage going up so far but the radius will be funny too. I'm gonna do chain projectile in this one because none of these are AOE or attacks have a 50% chance to chain up to two enemies dealing six damage. That's just gonna help smooth things out without being AOE. That's just a pure projectile thing but we're gonna drop some meteors on him see how he feels about that. That's very good for this early on. Let's hope for a big upgrade here. Well, we got one time boomerang. So far everything is just dying very quickly. We could upgrade goo or our sonic wave. Our sonic wave is actually getting really strong really quickly. So we might use that just to carry us for a bit. Then we can upgrade the other things. Okay, the boss is also spawned in. We need to find the mini boss first. We don't need to, but we want to. Uh, we'll probably kill them both together because we're dropping meteors on their head at rapid rates. Okay, we got one time increase your damage by 15%. I assume that's just all damage across the board, which feels like it because that boss died after like two meteors dropped on his head. Okay, there's three times our boomerang upgrade. Attacks have a 15% chance to throw a boomerang, dealing seven damage all enemies hit. Catching a boomerang rethrows it once. Perfect. That sonic howl is going so quick, it looks like my heart beat on coffee. And so far this build feels very good. Dealing damage to enemies above 95% HP has a 20% chance to deal 25% of that damage again. That's not really AoE, but that's just a good one to have because it'll just double hit enemies sometimes. I want to see what Sonic Howl does when it turns up to its gold version. I bet it's going to be really, really strong. It's going to be like an evaporator around me. Okay, I'm just going to get thick hide on this one. None of these are particularly exciting. Regenerate HP every 3 seconds and take 5% less damage, which is going to help. Maybe eventually we'll just be so tanky that enemies just like run into me and don't hurt me and then they'll get evaporated by my pink aura. And so far we're is mostly having trouble finding enough enemies to kill. This one's interesting because this increases AoE damage by 15%. This one increases damage by 20%. I'm not really sure like if that one also means AoE or not. I'm going to assume it's not otherwise it seems like either wouldn't exist. So I'm going to increase AoE damage for now and uh, I might check that later to see if I can determine the difference. My meteor is up to 65 damage though. The triaging upgrade can be pretty good. 
but I'm going to go for the extra attack speed for now. The tree hugging thing, I don't know, this late uh, in the run might not have as good of an effect as we'd want. It basically every once in a while it spawns a bunch of orbs, but we get so much experience from enemies anyway, I'm not sure it would make a sizable difference right now. The best way for us to level up is just to charge into the enemies like this, killing them as fast as we possibly can. Uh, so we can increase the damage of either thing. This one can upgrade eventually, so I kind of want to see what this does, and we'll see if that upgraded our meteor. I don't think it did upgrade our meteor, so damage is different from AoE damage, but now I know. But that damage should apply to like my ice shards and boomerangs then, because they're classified as a projectile. And we've almost leveled up again, thanks to our lots of extra experience we're getting. I'm definitely going to upgrade Soul of Amam, because he's AoE and gold quality. His explosion's going to deal 50 damage, and he's going to trigger a lot more often, so that's going to help us obliterate things. Oh, and the light guys are starting to show up. They don't last very long, but they're showing up. I would like more mini bosses at this point. I want lots of mini bosses to spawn. This is pretty funny though too. Attacks have a 20% chance to conjure a meteoroid, dealing 100 damage to all enemies hit. 100 damage, and a 1 in 5 chance of spawning a meteor, and look how big they're getting too. They're just dropping and exploding whatever they hit. We're gonna turn the whole world into meteors pretty soon, and I'm all about it. So far we haven't been able to hurt the frame rate that bad, but we did get seismic tsunami, so the Sonic Hell upgraded all the way to legendary quality. Release a large ultrasonic wave every 0.35 seconds, so it's gonna go off 3 times a second, dealing 12.4 damage to surrounding enemies. Each wave has a 5% chance to release a seismic tsunami dealing extra damage. Yeah, that's getting big. So hopefully when we kill the next bosses, we get an extra AoE size or damage. Size would be fun at this point. The damage is getting up there. Either way, we're going to be winning. Zigrid has showed up, so let's drop some meteorites on Zigrid's head and you're going to die from meteors. And here's where the fun can happen. 2 times 10% damage multiplier. Well, okay, 20% extra damage. I will not say no to that. I'm going to upgrade my boomerang again because it's already into uh, pink quality. I think one more upgrade it'll turn into gold quality. This has more of a chance to spawn and then deals a little more damage. Then it's back to murdering idiots on a pink island. So on my wish list right now is more AoE radius, more attack speed, and then more meteor damage. I just want to be able to spam hit idiots and rain meteors down right on their head. Even more so than we already are. These guys are going to be a little bit annoying when they're running around because their AoE isn't yet really big enough to hit them all, but we can increase the damage of all AoE by another 15%. Dump my meteors up to 122.5 damage. 22.5. I don't know if they can critical hit or not. I hope they can. The meteors are great too because they are AoE, but they're also basically great for 1v1s for bosses because you'll just rain meteors down directly on their head. Increase the damage of all AoE by another 15%. This is going to get stupid quickly. Like our Sonic Hellwells, I think, are like <laughs> evaporating the enemies. Meteors up to 133 damage. Our Sonic Howl is dealing 16 damage. And I'm pretty sure that's enough to defeat a lot of these, like, basic enemies at least. Dealing damage to enemies above 90% HP has a 25% chance to deal 25% of that damage again. Our base damage is up to 20, so that's actually pretty good in itself. Like, this our regular attack's actually getting really strong. If we could actually get our AoE radius really big right now, our Sonic Hell could probably take up the whole map, so we'd constantly be hurting everything that exists. We're starting to get the helmet guys, but we should be able to do massive damage to them with our Sonic Hell and Meteors. Yep, so far so good. This is a good one. Attacks have a 9% chance to conjure the soul of a mom, who's now going to deal 100 damage depending on how many idiots he hits. So, 1 in 10 hits conjures the soul of a mom. We got the top 2 AoE upgrades, and they're going higher and higher constantly. To the point where it's still actually getting kind of hard to like make it to the enemies. When they explode and push themselves all toward me like that they can hit me, but for the most part I just run toward them and they disappear before I know what happened to them. We got a nice little horseshoe that should level us up again. As much as I would like to upgrade the soul of a mom, I want to start upgrading the goo to gold quality too. We're going to go from a 15 to a 17% chance to conjure two goo balls. Because those also work great for both AoE and 1v1 bosses because it'll just goo ball the bosses directly. And with our attack speed and multiple projectiles we're constantly goo balling as well. There's another horseshoe on the ground. I'm going to wait just a second to pick it up because I want to be lazy and get lots of experience on the ground. Plus it's just fun when these guys all stack up and then we can go like that. Well, I'm just going to straight up increase my damage. These guys are fun, just give me more damage. That's going to also hurt and then it's going to just AoE is where our damage is going to come from anyway, even though our base attack is up to 23. We're starting to get the big guys now, but I feel like they're going to run into the same problem the little guys do, meteors dropping on their head. And also the soul of the moms is flying in there and absolutely destroying them also. I think the goo is going to be helpful though because it's going to be like my machine gun AoE where the other ones are not quite machine gun, but they're pretty close. Oh, speaking of a mom, let's go ahead and uh, see how the damage does against him. We're raining goo and whatever down on him. He's about to fire projectiles, but he's uh, dead. And we might get something good here. Four times. Oh, chain reaction. That's great. We now have a 100% chance to chain up to six enemies. 
and each additional bounce, bounce does 3 extra damage. That's not AoE technically, but it kind of works the same. It's going to hit a lot of enemies. A lot. And for those of you not counting at home, we've now killed 16,000 idiots. That number's going to go up a lot. The frame rate hasn't even dropped a little yet. And these levels are full of lots of little idiots that are very good for AoE. -ing. There's a lot of good upgrades here. I love all of these, but I'm going to get this one. So our attack's going to go off over 3 times a second, dealing 25 damage. Each wave has a 10% chance to release a tsunami dealing 30 damage. So this little heartbeat thing, especially for these little guys, is just going to disintegrate them. Even some of these big guys it's disintegrating, like it's going off over 3 times a second. That's so much damage. And against the helmet guys, yeah, it seems to be adequately strong. They survive for just a second, but our damage is only going to go up from here. And the chain reactors are always fun because we just explode one of them and then they all blow up. They died how they lived stupidly. We could do the damage upgrade, but I'm going to go increase the radius of AoE. Finally, we've increased it. And every one of those upgrades is going to be so much extra DPS because all of our massive AoE damage now hits a lot of extra idiots. This would be a good test because we're going to fight the helmet wearing very small guys, but yeah, they're getting pop play popcorn. We got a mini boss coming in. This will be a good test of our 1v1 damage too. Okay, so he's over here. Yeah, we're already uh, hitting with our Sonic Howl, our Meteors, and our Goo Balls. He is now dead. We got a 60% crit chance. Not my favorite out of everything that could have happened, but crit chance we will take. Because we know of a, uh, well, it's a 65% crit chance, so that's not bad at all. I'm seeing a lot of red numbers out there, so that's just a lot of damage, because each crit does 150% damage. This one's tempting because it turns it into gold. I want goo balls though. I need better goo balls. Because goo is going to get bigger with AoE and it's also going to start doing colossal damage. It probably already is, but we're going to do more. We got another mini boss coming in. Perfect. We got two mini bosses coming in. They know I'm all about AoE. Okay, this one's really... Okay, dead. Never mind. He was slow. At least I think he was. Increase your damage by 85%. All damage has a 2.5% chance to deal double damage. And then the other mini boss we'll deal with in just a moment. There he is. He's getting goo balled and meteored. And oh, he's a little bit tougher. He's dead. This is going to make us tougher, regenerate health quicker, and we're going to take 7.5% less damage, and we're going to continue to murder everyone. The boss is showing up again. It's the uh, little snowman, the half snowman. We're dropping meteors on him, and he is dead. Gold upgrades for us. 4 times 10 attack speed. That could have been 30. 4 times 30 attack speed would have been way better. But, I mean, that's still a 40% attack speed, so that means even more AoE. Yeah, I don't think damage is going to be a problem for a while. There is 30,000 DPS already. Increase your attack speed by a further 15%. Yes. Uh, and then we got a mini boss coming in. The game's just giving me everything I need. Mm, look at all these little guys. We just disintegrate them as we walk toward them. We don't even have to hit them with anything. And the mini boss is also dead. We're gonna get a one time this thing. Tranquilizing mass. This is just gonna go around me and stuns enemies occasionally. I guess that's good. If anything gets close to me, they'll be stunned and then evaporated by my aura. The uh, leveling up was getting whoa. Those guys are getting close. But we're gonna upgrade our boomerang to gold quality. Uh, we have about a 1 in 5 chance to deal 13.5 damage with the boomerang. If we catch it, we throw it again. Boomerangs have a 5% chance to unleash, unleash one mini boomerang. Basically, more projectiles. Now I need to sort of move away from those guys because I wasn't sure if they were going to swarm me or not, but they very nearly did because they're fast. And we get another mini boss. They're handing out so many of these now. This is great. Hopefully, it's an amazing upgrade. Well, another 5% attack speed certainly isn't going to hurt. We're already firing like a machine gun. And another mini boss. Let's go see if we can find the little fella. He's out there somewhere. There it is. It's the tentacle guy who's not very good against damage. Ooh, we need to get a 3 times toughness upgrade. Regenerate HP and 20% less damage. Enemies who touch me actually take 3 damage. I've never been so tough. And we're actually going to regenerate health pretty quick. But a 20% damage decrease is actually really big. Increase your damage by 115%. All damage has a 5% chance to deal double damage. So we're up to 30 damage with just our regular attack. And that also includes our boomerang and stuff. So we actually have a lot of different high damage attacks going out. Because we got to include on top of that all of our crit chance and damage. So when it comes to these helmet guys, they disappear. And we get another mini boss. He has 10,000 HP. He now has considerably less. And now he's dead. Another 15% attack speed. So we have a 255% damage multiplier and a 240% attack speed multiplier. No wonder our AoE is going off so much. We're firing like a million bullets a second. Like, look, it's actually like a non-stop stream of bullets in any direction, which by themselves do huge damage, but also spawn meteoroids, slimes, ghosts, all sorts of fun things. And our extra experience in the beginning has gotten us a lot of extra help. Increase the radius of AoE by a further 15%. So all that AoE is going to be a lot bigger again. Our Sonic Howl is actually going a good portion of across the map. And that's good because anything getting close to us will take a lot of damage before it has a chance to actually touch us. A lot of things just can't physically do it. Like we're running straight towards enemies. They're disappearing before we touch them. 
Obviously, we got a boss here, so let's rapid fire meteor drop on him. There it is, dead. Uh, we'll take some more crit chance. Sure, we will. We now have an 85% crit chance, so we're gonna see a lot of red numbers. Ooh, look at all these unshielded morons. They forgot to bring their helmets, so they're gonna melt. We got lots of explosive morons. That's not exactly scaring me. They'll definitely blow up. I'm more of a bomb than they are at this point. I wouldn't mind increasing my meteor drop rate. Maybe we'll kill the mini boss and get like four instant upgrades to meteor. Then we'll have like a 50% chance to drop them and they'll deal 500 damage each. Plus crit. Is that too much to ask for? I guess we'll find out soon. Increase your attack speed by 50%. Every time uh, you attack, you have a 15% chance to gain a stack of frenzy. Further increasing my attack speed by 5%. And there's a mini boss. But this extra attack speed is going to help because the damage itself is huge, but the AoE and meteors definitely don't hurt either. Yeah, there's an extra 5% damage. Another mini boss. This one actually has legs. He came prepared. And we're just going to destroy him with the AoE. We actually push him back really hard. I don't think we can touch each other if we tried. We're going to get a 30% damage increase. So all of our attacks are doing a stupid amount of damage at this point. Even my base attack is 33. But it also does almost constant crits. So it's more like closer to 100 probably. And there's another mini boss somehow. There it is going one after another. I need to be a little careful because I keep getting hit. And uh, I'm just not really noticing because I don't care. Gain point. 0.5 extra damage per HP lost. I'm gonna take that because dissolving it wouldn't really be... Well, that would have actually given me almost to the next level. But, I don't know, just in case we start uh, getting hurt, we'll just do extra damage. It can't hurt to take an upgrade. It's just whether or not it's better to uh, hopefully get a better one in its place. I like this part though, because enemies are just constantly dying. There's a lot to just appreciate, and the experience goes up quickly. Like, we're already up to 52,000 things killed, and it was just a moment ago I felt like we passed 10,000. Increase the damage of all AoE by another 15%. Our meteors now deal 240 damage, and we have 39 damage just on our exploding aura. There's another mini boss somewhere, he's down to the lower left. Uh, this is where it would start to get somewhat more difficult, but we're still just evaporating everything. I'm actually annoyed how much pushback we have, like I have to chase the mini boss around. We're gonna get a 3 times 15% crit damage. And every attack seems like it can do a crit, because I watched my meteors, they can certainly crit, so that was just a lot of extra meteor damage. There was just a lot more everything damage, like now we're just, it's even stupider. Like, I'm still marching straight towards hordes of enemies, and I can't touch them. Okay, I managed to touch a little bit of them there. That happens quickly. I need to be really careful, because if I accidentally walk into a horde of them, they can kill me within, like, a few short seconds. So I'm going to need that little more damage. Oh, what? What's happening? I think I'm being sucked in by something. So we're going to get a damage multiplier, but I'm being sucked in. I didn't realize how strong this thing was. That I thought was going to kill me, because it sucked me so hard directly into the horde of idiots, and they all hit me at once. But now we get the big guys that wear helmets. I'm pretty sure we should also be able to evaporate them. Especially if I don't walk towards them like an idiot anymore. Because I'm just walking straight into their damage. Our health also regenerates pretty quick. Wow, he spawned right on top of me. Which is bad for him. I don't think I want any of this. We're going to dissolve that for 6,000 HP. Which is worth half a level. And we get another gold upgrade. 2 times 20%. Okay, I'm pretty sure we now have a 125% crit chance. So we should see nothing but red text out there. Red text everywhere. Look how big our radius is. Like that wall of pink text is as far as our evaporating aura goes. Almost got another level up already. We're now killed 64,000 morons. A whole horde of helmet leg guys almost ran into me. Regurgitated goo is finally getting a pink upgrade. So they're going to have a 1 in 5 chance to conjure 3 goos that explode in a medium radius dealing 45 damage each. Uh, plus they've got a 1 in 5 chance to uh, go again, so once they hit the ground, they're going to re-goo things. And that single upgrade actually made a really big difference at this point. Okay, that's a lot of leggy guys. I'm hoping my aura is enough to, yep, disintegrate them, and it sure was. I zoned out for a second before I knew it. I was surrounded by legs wearing helmets. This magnet will hopefully... wow, level ups are getting hard to get. I guess we need 14,000 experience per level. I think the enemies literally drop one. So basically we got to kill a lot of these idiots to level up. But that's something we can do. We're good at that part. I just wish my AoE Oreo was bigger. That's all. But we'll get it. Look at this. Normally these guys would be pushing way into me and uh, probably killing me now. Uh, my Oreo is enough to keep them popped in way back there. Yeah, that's as close as they can get. They all pop. They start entering my Oreo and they just continue to take damage from that point forward. Okay, they're starting to bomb me, so I'm going to walk around. We also have the boss spawning. It's the one that runs around very quickly chasing me. Oh, I level up. We could increase attack speed. I don't... That's kind of like diminishing returns at this point i'm gonna increase the damage of aoe because we need to see bigger pink numbers i want to see four digits i want to see eight digits uh we don't really need any more crit chance because it's well over 100 so we're gonna go ahead and just turn that into experience the next level we're gonna have even more idiots spawning in but we're up to the task of destroying them that's a lot of leg morons but without helmets they're definitely gonna probably just be one-shotted by my aura 
I am starting to take a lot of damage because I just wandered into a horde of helmet wearers. I think it was also the exploding guys behind them so they kept pushing into me. They were able to push through the damage for the first time, but that's based on movement speed, not toughness. The frame rate's probably gonna start dropping pretty soon. Uh, DPS is also getting up there. There was 30,000 DPS before we hit the menu. I'm gonna get implode. Attacks have a 10% chance to implode on impact, displacing and stunning enemies for one second and dealing AoE. That's going to help uh, stall them a little bit so they can just stop dead and take damage. Plus it's AoE so that damage is actually pretty high. So even a very very basic level attack it turns into a ton of damage. Then it's boss fight time. Mini boss. He had 34,000 HP. He's already down quite a bit if we could focus our attacks on him. There we go. He drops. Uh, well he's dead. And there's an extra 10% to our AoE radius. So that's actually a really nice one. Because they're already getting big. So a 10% on top of that is real big. Actually look at the size of the meteorites and stuff as they land. It's enormous. And we got the next boss coming in. Uh, we are also getting a little bit more surrounded because there's just more tougher enemies spawning in. But we're just going to go park yourself in front of the boss as best we can without dying. It's just getting hard to see. Uh, there we go. We're gooifying and meteoriting the boss so he's now dead. And we're going to get two times sentient halo. Uh, extra damage per HP lost. Which isn't great but I mean our damage, our base damage is up to almost 40. So if we lose HP we'll just get extra damage. That's not the end of the world. Enemies are definitely tougher though. Like even some of these basic guys without helmets. They're absorbing some hits. And everything we're doing is doing a lot of damage. But look at our combo streak. We're up to almost 2000. I never paid attention to that until right now. Okay we got some little uh, helmeted legs running at us. But luckily their damage was enough to tear them away. And the mini boss had 40, 50,000 HP. And he's getting absolutely wrecked. Silly Saucer, that's, that would help, but I'm actually going to turn that into XP because I can do better here. Uh, increase the damage of AoE even more. Meteor is doing 280 damage. Our uh, Aura is dealing 45. Another mini boss is here, 50,000 HP, which should drop pretty quick considering we can mostly focus our damage on him. He's down to 10,000 and you get the idea, he dead. Uh, more extra damage for low HP. I'm going to take that because why not? Our health is going to get low because enemies are getting really strong. The next boss is here. I think that's him in front of me. It's getting hard to tell because everything's just a blur of damage, <laughs> whether it's on me or the enemies. The stupid bombing spiders are really starting to get annoying because it just constantly getting rained on but i did also just get a four times citrine which is just says unmeasurable power so yes that does sound like something i would enjoy uh, along with seismic tsunami uh getting a giant damage increase the flawless citrine increases my attack speed by 240 percent we have a 25 percent chance to gain this deck of frenzy and every fifth attack we shoot twice 340 percent attack speed by the way so doing a lot of damage and that looks something like this yeah again i kind of back to the point where it's hard to touch the enemies it's hard to see what's going on in the chaos but we're firing so many bullets every second and it's causing aoe that um i don't know what's happening everything's dying i guess Ooh, here comes the mini boss with legs so we're just gonna uh can never mind he's dead more aoe radius it's only five percent but that five percent is actually really big and i mean it's just more of the same chaos also my toughness upgrade just hit level pink regenerate every 0.12 hp every three seconds 30 percent less damage a very high level boss with 111,000 HP who's already, uh, while well, he's dead. But he did give us a 30% increase to AoE radius, so that's going to be ridiculous. Our pink aura, at least top to bottom, is, yeah, probably 90% of the entire screen. And our next level up, increase the radius of all AoE by another 15%, so the things are even bigger now. They're actually really, really huge. We have a 250% AoE radius multiplier now. So I'm pretty sure at this point I don't even have to move. And we were just at 120,000 DPS. That was just at a random moment. And then another 5% on top of that. Which uh, won't be overly noticeable at this point. Because it's already so big. And the next boss is... Uh, never mind. 2 times lightning power. Not enough damage. More meteors however. 1 in 4 chance of meteors dealing 350 damage. Yes. So that's... Uh, I don't know. That's going to look something like this. Those guys... I can't tell if they're pushing into me or not. Because I can't see past my <laughs> yellow and pink. All that matters is everything's dying fast. I like how these little unshielded guys are still spawning because they basically just spawn and then disintegrate right away. I got a little complacent walking into the idiots and I died. But we did 40 million total damage and um, well that was just a really good run.